said earlier, oh, you want to come up with some sort of question that has a number answer. So that's going to be part of your homework this weekend. So come up with some sort of question that you could ask someone, and then when they reply, gives you a numerical answer. And then if you even want to ask a few people that question, that wouldn't be a, the worst idea in the world. And then record those, obviously, so you don't forget what they are. Um, so we are doing some probability today, but it's a little bit different. It's called conditional probability. So it's the probability of something happening given some other bit of information. So for example, um, the probability of someone in this class being a girl given that she, they already have brown hair. Or the probability of someone having brown <coughs> hair given that she is a girl. Okay, so you would answer the question differently based on how it's worded, whatever comes first or whatever's given that. Um, the notation is like a vertical line. So you would say the probability of B happening given that A it has already happened or is a feature of what we're talking about. So it's just like a vertical line. Whatever comes before is the, the probability of, and then whatever comes after is the given that. Um, a contingency table is how we're gonna get our information out. So it's just gonna be like a little table that has information in it and it's going to have numbers in it. Um, from what I remember of the SAT, this is like a, a decent part of that and it says like girl, boy, I don't know, eyes, <laughs> ten eyes, that'd be insane, um, aliens. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, the statistics questions that are on the SAT, I think there's a, a decent amount of these so maybe Very that cool. cheers you up a little bit. Here all my markers. I'm still copying down these. Yeah, ways. how the heck are I'm just copying them down. Well, because I did them. It's no, only the first one that really matters. Them Emma. Them Emma. Them Emma. Emma, just copy down the first one. That's the only one that matters. Well, like, I take a picture of it before you move it. Sure. Thanks. Just do the first one. So okay. then I can, like, continue copying it down. Yeah, yeah, take a picture of that, too. Nice. Hold okay. up. Oh, yeah, I'll, 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 Let's just get to this part. This part you do want to write down. So it's your conditional probability for any two events. So you're going to find the probability of A and B happening like together, probability of both A and B, and then put that over just the probability of A. So my example before was like the probability of someone having brown hair given that she's a girl. I'm going to look at all the girls with brown hair and put that number over all the girls. And like I said before, it depends on how you're wording it. So if I say, what is the probability of a person from this class being a girl, given that she has brown hair. So you would take girls and brown hair, girls with brown hair, like all the girls with brown hair, and put that over. Oh, really? So given, so what is the probability of a person being a girl, given that she has brown hair, or he has brown yeah, hair? Was you put it over the total brown. But if we say, what is the probability of someone having brown hair, given that that person's a girl, you would take more brown haired girls, brown haired girls, and you'd put that over girls. So you basically put it over. So yeah, you put it over A, the second thing, the, the part that says, given that, that is your total, what you put it over at the bottom. So the wording, the order, matters. So... Am I like... I don't know why I wrote this up. What do you mean you don't know why you wrote this down? I like wrote it, like, I don't know. I just like ran out of room, so then I wrote like one of the like equation things, like below yeah, it. Just like, looks, just like looks uh, It would be uh, <coughs> exemplary if I could just have this for another 30 seconds. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I actually ended up finishing copying it down without the picture. Okay. Did, so, you know. Ew, why does that sprinkle like that? Wait, why do you word it like that? So, this is a contingency table. It's got numbers and such in there. You have to read through the contingency table to answer the question. The first row is two year colleges and the number of people that, mm, I guess, suppose graduated from two year colleges. This many people in thousands. So, it's actually like, one, two, three. It's actually like this oh. many people because it says in thousands. Wait, 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 wait. No. So like when it says in thousands, it's actually oh, yeah. oh, that yeah, many yeah. people, which is really more like a million people. Yeah, what the heck? 
Wow. It's easier to write the numbers in thousands and make them smaller and easier to deal with. You could do 1.866 million. Anywho, <laughs> Thank you. so the number of males who graduated from two-year colleges in 2005 is about, yeah, like what you said, 1.866 <laughs> million. And the number of females would be this number. Now, the total females would be all the numbers in this column. That would be total females. Total males would be all the numbers in this column. The total two-year colleges would be all the numbers in this row. Total four-year colleges would be everything <coughs> in this row, the total of that row, and the total people that graduated from grad school would be the total of this row. So at some point, you're gonna have to total something up because we're being asked, if selecting a student at random, what is the probability that you're selecting a female given that that student graduated from graduate school? So first, we're going to look at females uh, who graduated from you, I can't grad straight line. school. So the combination of females and grad school. So what is that number, the females and grad school number? You have to add. But we don't really have to add. We just, because it's in this contingency table already there. Where is the overlap of females and grad school? In the table. Oh, from bottom 1954. Right. I thought you were asking how many Wait, people were there in total. I was like, that's not a real like stat, right? Oh, um, actually, usually these statistics are real. So, the, like, more girls would usually graduate. There. No, I know that, but I'm still thinking like that's not a lot of people graduating in general after going to college. It's yes, yeah, it's source like, U.S. Census Bureau. And the, two yeah, it is. It's a million. Yeah, but like, no, but uh, think about it. You have, you have yeah, like seven. Like seven you have million. seven. Like, all right, let's just say at least <laughs> like. Two and a half million, this is five and a half million. That's one year though. That's right like in. another two million. Yeah, Brayden, that's literally one lot. year. I know, but like think about it though. Like no. that pause, many people. Pause your thought process. That process. many people <laughs> going. And so then like two the females who graduated from grad school. And then we're gonna divide that by the given that. So we're gonna divide that by the total number of people who graduated grad school that year, or graduated from grad school that year. So what is that number or how could I find that number? Yes, the boy and the girls that graduated from grad school together added together. This total. So 1349 and 1954. And now we're going to use a calculator because, like, who can do that in their hand? Me, obviously. Yeah. Here. Oh, my, I thought that was a T. I was like, what? Not a T. It's a plus sign. I, I, I understand now at the time. I was a little lost. Okay. Yes. All right, so everyone's got calculators? Nope. <coughs> Whip them out. Yeah, all right, got it. By the time you get the answer, though, my calculator isn't in the mirror. And go ahead and put it as a decimal for me and let me know what you get. What does Math Excel been asking around to? Okay, 0 0.592. That is oh, right. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, it's on my desk. I, oh, no. no, I need it for chemistry. No. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> so if we were to call this a percentage, what would we call this Just as a percentage? Someone. Yeah, borrow someone's from like seventh period or something. Or borrow Eric's. Contract me. Ah, thank you. Yeah, I definitely did this wrong. Did so make sure when you're typing it in, you put the denominator. Oh, like, do we do percentages? No, I wrote mine in millions. I put mine in per you can put it in millions. Uh -oh. Well, I mean, I if you do this, so you could do this, and then, and then this. That's like a lot of zeros. Yeah, I got, got everything in millions. I got. Yeah, you just have to put everything in millions. I would put the top part. I didn't put like the bottom part in parentheses, but I have. To. Yeah. It worked for me. I got the fraction button. Yeah. That's why. You either use the fraction oh, button they or actually just divide it. I, I got 1,954,000. Oh, no. Oh, no, trust me. <laughs> You're kind of like a Did you divide? Off. I think she multiplied. Maybe you multiplied. A utility company asked 50 of its customers whether they pay their bills online or by mail. Um, you guys probably will never pay anything by mail by the time you start paying time. bills. Why? So it seems that... Males and females pay differently accordingly, but they didn't sample the same number of males and the same number of females, which is kind of like statistics 101. Um, if you want to try to make any kind of assumptions about 
a relationship between males and females, you should probably pull the same number of each because they only hold how many males? 20, 20 and they hold 30 females. Yeah, well, then you can't do that. That's just dumb. So think about that when you guys are asking how many toilets people have in their house. What's this Although from? probably not a correlation between toilet numbers and males and females. Um, but when you're asking people questions, if you want to make any kind of assumptions about males and females, you better ask the same number of males and the same number of females. So what are we correlating to? Yeah, you could be like, what do you have in math? <laughs> On the like, your, like ninth grade, tenth grade, like how do we, like how many toilets you have, and then how like, uh, I mean, you, we don't, you don't necessarily have to make a correlation. Like for, for the project that I'm talking about, you don't have to make a correlation. But, here's the thing. but if you're trying to make some sort of correlation, your sample needs to be big enough. Here's the, the thing, you do know that yeah, the males the do significantly more by male because if, if, um, because if it's, if, it, if there's 10 more females and somehow like males still deliver, like, out of that, there's still more males delivering by male, then you know, like, there's going to be a huge. Alright, we'll talk more about the project when we get there. I, wanted, I want you to do it in baby steps so that you're not okay. procrastinating. Alright, so, what is the probability that a customer pays the bill online given that the customer is a male? So, what is my numerator? Well, Marity. your new, your, oh, oh, uh, 20, because it's all the males. So probability that the customer is a male, wait, probability that the customer pays online, so probability of the customer paying online, given that the customer is a male. No, 12 over 20. So you take 12 as your numerator, because those See? are the males that paid online. Both of those conditions together. And then you put it over the total what? Males. The total males. Given that person was, oh, that's not the, <laughs> that's not the total males. Nice. Total males, which we said earlier was 20. Um, so that's going to be 3 fifths or 0.6. Oh. Yeah. Okay, try as you try. It kind of looks like a tree, it's got branches, and you just kind of like split whenever you have different options. Uh, so this is a survey that were sent to juniors 10 years earlier. What? So like, huh? Back in time. So like basically like almost me. What? 2009. You were not a But junior. I'm like, that was like 12 years. I'm like 29 and I'm gonna be 30 this year, so that's like 13 years ago. But like essentially, maybe like this sweezy. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so they polled the people, and it's of the people they polled, the old people. Eighty-five percent of those people graduated from high school. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of math. That's real life. Public wow. school. Um, that's real life public school. <laughs> you you ever been to public school? Nope. Yeah, no, it clearly shows. Luke's never been off the golf course. I know. Well, yeah, it's it's like even school before, <laughs> wait. Um, let's school. do a little bit of math. If 85% graduated high school, what percent did? 15. 15. Good. Alright, so. Why did I like second get? 25. It's funny. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's totally I really haven't your room today so far. I'm so excited to fail all my quizzes. I just like the only class I have quizzes. Ready, like, ready for the owls. Okay, so 85% graduated and then 15% not graduated. Do you just like know to draw this a V? Like you just know? Um, I know. I Am I, I supposed to know? Nat, Nat was doing it the other day, so. Honestly, I'm not good at drawing it. I'm looking at the book because like, they know how to make the branches nicer. <laughs> how do I know like when to do that? Well, they're giving you a bunch of information and in that information, you can either go one way or another. It's like graduated <laughs> or not graduated. So let's Makes look at the sense. next bullet point. It says, of the students who graduated, so of these people, we're going to have two options. It says 90% are happy. So 90 and 10. So what, what's the other option, though? If 90% are happy, 10% are not happy with their present job. So oh, no. um, like, are they earning from here, 90% are happy, oh, and then 10% are unhappy. Four unhappy people. Um, now, the trees don't all have to look alike, but I am not good at drawing. Dude, that's kind of... That doesn't make any sense. Because, I don't know, because, it, I don't know, it's just weird seeing it, like, 15% didn't graduate, and then 
And then all of a sudden, like, the 85 that graduated, like, only 10%. Are so of these people, 90% yeah. are happy, 10% are so not 90% happy. of the 85 are sad. Ninety percent of yeah. the eighty percent yeah, are happy with their jobs. You just um, think that a little more would be unhappy. Well, they graduated from high school, so clearly they're happy with their jobs. Yeah, that's true. What? Um, what about no. college, though? I have friends that graduated right? from high school. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure some people are See, just never. Some people that did not graduate from high school are still happy with their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy. Let's look at the next sure? bullet point. It are says you sure the ten percent shouldn't be down. I don't think it matters, to be honest. It could go either what way. What do you mean? Because the 10 goes with the not graduated. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. That's no, this part. Doesn't. That's this part. Of the students who did not oh, graduate. Oh, you. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I read ahead and I thought that you wrote. Yeah, so no. Of this uh, category, yeah. uh, 60% are happy. So 60% are happy. Mine is so large. 40 is it? And then 40 would be unhappy. So, like, they could use that information to probably make some sort of correlation, right? You graduate from high school, you'll be happy. If you don't graduate from high school, you might be happy. <laughs> you might. Yeah, we'll think about it. It's um, almost a 50-50 chance that you might It's not. nearly a 50-50 chance, yeah. nearly. But it's not yet, so like technically you have more chance of being happy. All right, so now they're gonna ask you questions about this information. So what is the probability that a person from the junior class 10 years ago graduated from high school and is happy? Now you kind of said this earlier. So oh 85, 85 over 90. Over 90. Oh, no, a 90 not over quite. 85. So this is going to be different because we're not going to put them over. Would you I'm trying to call so make a proportion. A long time ago yeah, when you did, a long time ago when you did like, <laughs> did you do is over of questions? Yes. Oh my god, those were so like fun. Okay, were but like my did you, were you ever taught like of means multiply? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's like percent. It's like the you, you just number, like what you have. But, like but they do like kind of try to tell you that like of means multiply. Yeah. Well, so I when you said that. earlier, ninety percent of people who graduated um, are no eighty-five of ninety. 90 of, yeah, you said ninety percent of people. Of ninety, yeah. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna find ninety percent of the eighty-five. So you're multiplying. Indeed. So you're doing ninety percent of eighty-five percent. Would it not be like ninety over hundred times? You probably could do it as that, but it's so much easier. That'd to be just 45, do 72. Oh, you made it just 11, 115. Might as well if they're no. uh, percentages. Yeah. So we're finding 90% of the 85. Percent. What if it was 80? Well, 90 times 85 is 115. Hmm? Right? Wait, what? What? 90 times 85 is, is 1,150. How did you know that? So as a decimal, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I, you got I tried it. so hard. As a decimal, <laughs> you were so confident with it. Like the way she looked at you. I did my head. <laughs> I did not get that. Wait, are you? I got no, no, not the decimals. I multiplied the actual big number. It would be seven hundred sixty-five then. Yeah, it would be uh, without the decimals. Because <laughs> it would That's be one, two, three decimals that one. Yes, it is so that's it is about 100%. 70, that's 76.5% of the people they surveyed are yeah, happy sure. graduates. <laughs> the calculator doesn't lie to you, surely. Are yeah. you still doubting it? She's doubting us still. How All did right. you get that in your head, though? Emma, <laughs> let's look at the next one. Hi, make a tree diagram. Well, we did that already. I think that's misplaced. Oh, Anyhow, so what is the probability that a person didn't graduate and is happy? Uh, 60 times 15. So we're looking at... What's that just name? No, I did. I, I know what I did wrong. Oh, 15. So 0.6 times 6. 0.6 times 6. I got false. Is it? 0.6 times You got false? It was worth it. Oh, wait. What? Did you put an equal sign in there? I, I don't. How, how did I put an equal sign? I got 5. I got 10. I, I got false. <laughs> I don't, wait, how do you put an equal sign? <laughs> so, like, 9 or 10? Yes. 0.09. It's funny how little brain cells all of us have. Like, we're so, so lost all the time. 9% are happy that didn't graduate. Or 9% uh, of the people surveyed <laughs> are happy and, and didn't graduate. Why do I feel that's a oh, low number compared to the 60%? That's where the equal sign is. It just, like, is. sounds, like, low. I don't know. So, 